Hi, my name is Frank White and welcome to another episode of Photography Tips and Reviews. In this episode, I am going to show you another bag that I just received. Now, this video may be deja vu if you've already seen my video on the Thunderhead Regard, or the Regard Thunderhead 75 bag because this bag is the Regard Thunderhead 35. Now, it just came and so far all I've done was, was open up the box. I uh, haven't even taken out of the box yet. But the reason I went on and got the, the 35 is because I'm so happy with the 75 that I've decided that I can't go wrong with the 35. Now that's saying a lot because generally, speaking, I tend to gravitate towards big known name brands for my bags, but I can attest that Regard makes a really nice bag. Now, I've had the Thunderhead 75 now for, I guess, about eight months or so, and really I'm happy with that bag. Um, it's So far, it's holding up, so let's get it out of the bag. And this is the way it comes. Let's get it out of the box. This is the way it comes. As you can see, I got the Thunderhead 35 backpack and I am just unboxing it. Now, you could go out and you can get a Think Tank or a Low Pro or a premium bag, but I have been pretty pleased with these bags. Um, pleased enough where I thought it was worth the investment for a smaller one. Now, the Thunderhead 75 is a great bag for transporting my gear because I can get uh, about 80% of everything that I have in it. But I don't always want to carry all that gear, which is why I went on and got the Thunder, the Regard Thunderhead 35. Now the 35 is the 75, but it's a lot smaller. Um, so let's just look in here, uh, give you a, give you a looks peek um, of what I got. And by having pretty much the same bag, then when I downsize to a smaller bag, I still know where everything is at. Um, as long as I pretty much use the same conventions on in both bags. Uh, so for instance, in this compartment, I usually keep certain stuff. In this compartment, uh, I usually keep certain stuff, okay? And got some more tissue paper. Um, so I usually keep certain stuff in this compartment so I can just transfer stuff from one bag to the other and know that I have everything. Like for instance, I went to a photo shoot this morning and lo and behold, I left my I left my SD cards in my other bag, so I wound up having two camera bodies and one SD card. But grant you, that was just poor planning on my behalf. Um, nevertheless, I made it work. I did shoot with two bodies, but I had to swap SD cards, which I found a little bit faster than swapping lenses, so, um, so it worked out. Um, the Thunderhead 35, uh, same pockets that I got pretty much on the other bag. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and continue looking. Okay, so I've got uh, a duplication of bags. Now I can't carry the 17 inch laptop in this bag, uh, but it does accommodate a smaller laptop, which is cool because that means I can put my my um, my iPod, my iPad in it. Okay, yeah, there it is right there. Okay, so laptop. So yeah, um, tripod, and both sides of these are cinchable, which is 
something that I like. And this got so, so yeah. Now, one of the things that I can do with the 75, let me just, let me just open, get this strap here out. One of the things that I can do with the 75 that I can't do with this bag is carry my speed lights straight up because I can tell that this bag is more shallow than the, than the 75. But that's cool. That's, I have no worries there. Let me just grab a speed light and a lens. Okay, so this is the 75 and this is the 35. So automatically you can see how, how much different they are in terms of size. But let me just pop this one open. Now I don't have any camera bodies in here because I am recording with both of them. Um, but uh, let's see, let's grab this speed light here. See how I got this guy standing straight up? There's no way that I can make that work comfortably. Yeah, see, that's just not going to work, but, but that's okay because it's reconfigurable, so I can always just, just push these back like so because the idea of having a smaller, a smaller bag is I won't need to carry as much gear, okay? So, um, so generally speaking, uh, there, there are three lenses that I tend to like to carry. Of course, the 70 to 200, the 24 to 70, and um, the 100. So, I'm sure that I can get all three of these lenses in. Uh, let me just go ahead and demo that. Okay, so. So I can get my 70 to 200 with the camera body in. Now, now that is squished a little bit, but, but that's okay. I don't mind squishing it my back. It's my party and I cry if I want to. I won't quit my day job. Now you heard me sing so you know why, why I focus on photography. Okay so there we go. So yeah and my camera would be attached right there. Um, and my 70 my 100 millimeter with the hood. Okay, so that works. I can actually stand that guy up. That works. Got my speed light in now. And, and what else? Um, so, drop my, my two camera bodies in it, my, my, these, um, I still got room for this stuff. And you may wonder whether or not this stuff will actually fit. And, oh yeah, I've got so much room in here that it might be a little tighter, but it will fit. Uh, my light meter may not fit. I don't think it will, but <laughs> these other doodads, would fit my my triggers and whatnot. I probably would have to spread these off to both sides. Um, but I could transfer my light meter to here. I still got places where I can keep my my SD cards. So so yeah, I think I've got a winner here. What do you guys think? Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, become a part of this community and hit that subscription button. If you have any questions or comments about either of these two bags, 
go ahead and leave them below. If you haven't seen the review on the Regard 75, then I've got two videos on this, um, on this bag, so be sure and check them out. And remember guys, if you're gonna shoot anybody today, shoot them with a cannon or a camera of your choice. And remember, keep shooting no matter what.